Welcome, everyone. I see How many classes in this game? Some bro? of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. I look so drippy next to these other people. Way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, Thank you, Poppy. I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Beauty. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. I don't want to play Just with keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> so, Beast class was interesting. Not interesting enough to make it into the video. We learned two spells that I'll probably never use again. And we did meet a hippogriff for the first time in game. Although, we still can't call them. But now we're going to go see what Gladwin Moon is offering. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker. I just called you Mr. Service. Moon, bro. I know who you are. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. His voice does not match his character at all. Rather disconcerting encounter. Sounds Although sleazy. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, Are we still on that? That was a whole uh, from season of it. The village was like over there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. What's that? Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch yeah. what happens when that light changes from day to night. invisible now so he's teaching me to spell to, uh, to unlock doors and he wants me to get rid of the little moon statues because he's too scared to go near them himself that's basically all that was said just now I don't under I don't even understand this what the fuck is that? okay Done. I will be picking very many Remember. locks. Yeah, this mission wasn't really that bad, yo. This is like, I wonder if I, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. I was about to try and put a pepper in, but I'm not even gonna try. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you that was interesting. to collect. Oh, goodness. That, that little mission was interesting. I'm not gonna lie. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous cop, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. Sounds like Peeves. That does explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. We can do this. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. What you got? Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Hello, Miss Ryan. I want to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. <laughs> oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Yeah, I'm, I Glad can't. Glad you I'm and sorry. your friend were here when they found you. I am too. I guess I... No, I'm not going to say it. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord Gog. <laughs> He's a friend. Glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial <laughs> enough, but we weren't friends <laughs> yeah. then. His mistrust I have so many his jokes. kind ran deep. But your friends, I have so many jokes. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came out. I don't want to offend ago. anybody. But... <sighs> He recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. 
Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. <laughs> Lord Gok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been yeah. going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him I about Ranrock so in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. Indeed. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. Hello, Lord Sorry, Gok. Troll, nigga. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Nah. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. Why? What's up with all the, the head movement? Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. It must have Let's been a fly bother my nigga, so. Why should I trust you? Sarona trusts trust me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm Where? listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb okay. accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. So I go get that. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Yeah, this is now. Be before you set off, do you have any questions? No. I'll be right back. It seems bro. clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Thanks. I don't need it. I'll be back in five minutes. I'm not gonna wait here. All right. So. Okay. So this is this is magic down here. I guess. Should I sneak through? Or should I just, you know, go through and bust up whatever I find? It's sealed. Um, what do I do with this? Okay, I probably need a Lumos here, right? Lumos. See, that kind of worked. Oh, this is cool. Moths. Curious. Okay. I'm supposed to bring them to the door. Okay, this is an interesting little door. Not gonna lie. Dang, I'm under leveled here. Hold up. Couldn't bring up. Oh, not really. I mean, I'm under leveled, but I guess it really don't make much of a difference. These niggas, they they not fucking with me. Oh. So I need to switch to more fire spells. I didn't even see this nigga coming up. Whoa, buddy, hold up now. Oh. What? Hold up. I was not expecting, bro, to uh, smack me like that. Okay. So it's Jogger. Okay. Sorry, Butterfly. You gotta wait. I'll be back for you in a second, buddy. Fuck your ass up. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Incendio. I didn't even mean to use that one. It's alright. What are you doing? 
Back up. Oh, I feel like a real wizard now, nigga. Oh. Hold up, let me get away. Oh, I doubled it. I ain't mean to double it. I ain't even know I could. Wait, did somebody just hit me? Ooh. Oh, it's another one. I feel like a real wizard now, bro. What's wrong with y'all? Hold up, let me get away. You come here. Yeah. Get up. Uh. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit, yo. I'm starting to feel powerful. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sock. A dead Ashwinder. Oh. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Well, better show this to Lodgok. Signet ring. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. This does not look like a door. This looks like a trap. Hearing thing. There they are. The Ashwinders. Explosive! They're fighting a troll. You've made a grave mistake. I'm just gonna, um, you know, watch this a little bit. You're going to regret that. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch this a little bit. Did they take it out already? Hold up. Where's my... Shit, hold up. I wanna watch. Damn. Did they win? Did y'all whoop them? Okay, no, they're still fighting. It's gonna make it easier for me. Y'all get the troll down to half health. You know, he gonna kill y'all, then I'm gonna finish him. Damn, y'all see that? Yeah. Troll is fucking him up. They doing some good damage though. Hey, this is the easy way. Damn. All right, so slow burning enemy and flip the troll's club into his face. I can do that. Hey, troll. Come on. How do I cut? All right, let me burn you. Damn, that came fast as a bitch. Hold up, huh? I need you to slam your club. Where did he go? Come here. I need you to catch on fire. I need you to catch on fire, Charlie. Boom. Did it all. Just that fast. Now let me switch. Easy. That was too easy. The troll made my job so easy. That's it. This is for Rockwood. Oh man. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Do I have to fight you? Like, can I just leave? I guess I have to fight you. That's fine. Come here. That's fine. Let's finish you real fast. I don't even want to deal with you. I'm the one that did what? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Oh, you don't have your wand anymore. Don't run. Who made a mistake? You? Stupid. Shame nobody saw that. Right. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. You're right, this is a pretty good helmet, yo. Maybe I don't want to get it so. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Yeah, you can Thank you. Soon. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? Search of what? Uh, it is merely an inkling. 
You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted so you. So he holding out. He already knew some. We shall speak soon. What a blast. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. I should blast him. He already knew something and he didn't want to tell me. It's all good. I'm keeping an eye on you, Nick. So apparently I'm just the most popping nigga in Hogwarts because everybody want my help. But I'm about to go see what Sebastian talking about. And then we're going to wrap this up. Enjoying the view. Sebastian. Keep your eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle hmm. Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. So Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Yeah, really. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. So what's wrong with her? Uh -huh. Sebastian, where did you... Is that... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. What the fuck is a shrivel fig? Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Why would you get rid of that? But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. Still off, bro. I can never accept. Still off. I got your back. <laughs> Now look what you've done. Look at you. Yo. I'm sorry. Yo. Yo. Yo, what's your Excuse problem, me, bro? Mr. Sallow. What's your problem, oh, yes. bro? Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He Nigga, apologize for yourself. Stop. He thinks he can help Anne. You didn't need to do all that. Nothing can be done for her. You want a bit? It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. No, oh, yeah. you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't, don't know everything. everything sir. Exactly. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves anytime soon. Oh, we can Even make the goblins talk. Is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. You sound like a loser. I'm not gonna lie. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He has no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Or the good he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Uh, you're Good a fucking loser. I don't want to talk to you. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault what it's nice I... to meet you by the way is there a name for this you must curse? be the new fifth year sebastian told me about i am Jeez. sebastian and i met on my first day at hogwarts in the slytherin common room oh the common room oh, i adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window i do miss hogwarts but i wouldn't mind being in feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with sebastian whenever he's home it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Yeah, it seems Sebastian kind of mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, well I it. know they fix do, it. but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. So she don't give Sebastian up hope. cannot take away my pain. 
Perhaps you can help him to understand that. No. No. His mind is made up. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I can kind of understand where the uncle's coming from. He doesn't want to go attack the loyalists because let's say he does go out there and dies. You know, then Sebastian and Anne are just on their own. So I kind of understand it, but I don't. I do. Why will he not listen to me? Sebastian, what's She's going on, bro? Sister. My man's got his cloak on backwards and shit. Look at this. <laughs> this is after the update. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. That's all right. Yeah, he was out of line. I'll admit, alarm. I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. You did just say that. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. That's Both what I Anne said too. and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. I can't even be mad at Sebastian, bro. Because if I was in his shoes and somebody did some shit like that to my little sister, I wouldn't stop either, bro. We're going to get that shit straight. It's an honor to be a part of it. Oh, you trying to you trying to box these niggas? You don't want Damn. <laughs> where did this nigga come from? All right. Are we boxing? Where are they coming from? These niggas just popped up. You good, see bass? I'm about to I'm about to take these niggas on up here. Yeah. Hey. I missed. What is that sound? I don't know what that sound was, but it sounded dangerous. Damn. Oh, hold up. All right. Let me let me get on my toes, bro. You're doing a lot, bro. I hate the niggas that shoot. Hold up. Mm. That was a good shot, huh? Here you on? Uh, let's hit you with a box. Boop. Uh, slower lawyers launch an enemy with a launch an object. Uh, wait. I need to start doing these. Let's slow him. Wait. That's the wrong person. Fuck. You've made your last mistake. Bro. Does Hogwarts teach you nothing about dueling? You wanna see what it taught me? Stupid. Let's get this over with. Oh. You wanna see what it taught me? It's the Hogwarts lesson right here for you, hey. Come on now. It's a Hogwarts lesson for your ass, boy. I don't care what you are. Let me get that. Oh. Come on now. Okay, I was trying to do something else there, buddy. I didn't expect you to swing on me, but it's all good. Y'all just keep coming. Is it? I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I was like, those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried oh. someone would be hurt. Uh -huh. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Wait, Suddenly, they were trying to stop an icy well, voice was. drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. How powerful was it that shit, huh? It sounds as if the loyalists attacked Anne without cause. 
I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. Yeah. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. We're Shall we have a look this. around? Sebastian. Over this here. is this is one do of the that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed. It doesn't look like it could be. But it looks yeah, to somebody me like shot this intentional. One. This well looks familiar. Sebastian. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. Oh! When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. This is what the wizards were up there on that um on that that ledge, and this is the town that they bought the the magic to. Oh shit! Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you? I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? Oh. And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting I mean, quiet, because I'm trying to take in the story. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. Yeah. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Precisely. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, it isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. We about to dig Look through this, this motherfucker. Yeah, bro. You're not going to believe this. Oh, okay. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. No. Wait. Wait. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know I mean, is I that my see ability it. allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. I mean, we I don't can. know, we can, I can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. So am I gonna be able to open I'm this? I'm tempted to hold my breath. Told you. Straight Why out would the, wall. the door lead us here? It means there's Sebastian, something down here too. Look. Did he see that? Okay. It's a puzzle piece. I mean a map piece. What is this? This is not English. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? Oh, I can't really? be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. 
Hmm. Very well. Maybe not. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. Yeah. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. That. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up here because it's getting kind of long. Hope you guys enjoy it. Come back Wednesday for the next episode. Till then, we out.